listen to me very carefully. What we're dealing with here this morning is responsible for people praying and praying and praying and it will appear as if there is no answer. It's responsible for those who wonder why is it that when I pray so hard, then my battle will be so hard. It is what is responsible for the fact that sometimes you go to people to assist you for prayers and they run away because anytime they assist you, they get attacked. What we are discussing here today is what is responsible for most of the stubborn situations that people bring to church. What we are discussing here today may date back to 600 years, 1,000 years, 2,000 years. So, in, as, as far as Bible is concerned, we do not allow sleeping dogs to lie. Thou sleeping dogs must be woken up and dealt with. So this morning, if you pray here on this mountain, this morning, and you pray to such a level that your voice goes away, and you obtain a breakthrough in this area, it is the kind of breakthrough you enjoy forever. So let's open our Bible to the book of Matthew now. As I'm going to quickly pick up from the words of Jesus. Jesus was a no-nonsense preacher. He says what he means and he means what he says. Jesus told us the blunt truth. In fact, in the whole of the Bible, the person who describes hellfire more for anybody to understand is Jesus Christ. Because he did not want to leave us in any darkness at all. So when Jesus is speaking, it's a very serious matter. It's not just one of the prophets talking a message from one angel no jesus speaking so this morning we're going to look at book of matthew chapter 12 and i read verse 29 matthew chapter 12 verse 29 and we're looking at raiding the house of the strong man raiding the house of the strong man matthew chapter 12 verse 29 this is Jesus speaking. Or else, how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods except he first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house. He will spoil his house. Please keep that passage at the back of your mind. In the book of Luke chapter 11, verse 21 Luke 11 21 when a strong man armed keepeth his palace his goods are in peace but when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him he taketh from him all his armor wherein he trusted and divided his spoil from these two passages before I read about two more we can gather plenty of facts almost 100 facts let's see the little we can share out of it this morning the first fact you can gather from here is that there is an entity known as a strong man jesus identified that entity if you read through the whole of the scripture you won't find anybody telling us that it's an entity known as a strong man if there is anyone who is qualified to say that something is strong, it must be Jesus. So for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords to describe an entity as strong, it must really be strong. The strong man has been identified in, this, in scripture by a person called Jesus Christ. No other person than Jesus Christ. The second fact we can get from these passages is that the strong man, as the name implies, has awesome level of power. Then we begin to understand what is written in Psalm number 2. There are enemies and there are enemies. There is wickedness and there is wickedness. In Psalm 2, an entity is identified by the psalmist. That entity is the same entity Jesus was trying to describe. Psalm 2, verse 1. Why did the Eden rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. The kings of the earth set themselves. And rulers take counsel together. Against the Lord. And against his anointed. 
Now, it is not small, small boys who will gather themselves together and they are challenging the Lord and his anointed. You could get to the deliverance ground and you say, come out in the name of Jesus. And one spirit will say, hey, I'm coming out. I have gone out. Those are small, small boys. Oh, the spirit will say, no, 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 I'm not going. Those are the small, small boys. These ones are strong enough to challenge the Lord and his anointed. That's what Jesus describes as a strong man. The book of Isaiah now describes it further. In Isaiah chapter 49, Isaiah 49, I want you to understand this very well, this foundation, before we begin to pray now. Isaiah chapter 49, look at verse 25. But don't say the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered the mighty and the terrible now, two other names for the strong man the mighty and the terrible the mighty and the terrible other facts we can gather from the scriptures we've read now is that this strong man has specific locations specific location the strong man has a house and inside that house the strong man keeps goods the strong man is a keeper of things it, it keeps things to make sure that those things are with him forever and the owners never get them the strong man according to those scriptures we've read has weapons so when you gather your weapon and go against him he too will gather his weapon and fight back this is why sometimes when you pray there will be a counter attack they too will gather their own weapons and they will fight back the bible says the strong man has armor he defends himself he has defensive and offensive weapons the bible makes us to understand that this entity called the strong man has a wicked agenda to steal to kill and to destroy it's a very serious matter beloved when the strong man is assigned to you and you don't deal with it and the strong man goes with you from the cradle to the grave unfortunately in our setting here immediately some people are born they are handed over to the strong man and the strong man goes after them and pursues their life until the day they are buried, the strong man goes back to the owner. The Bible also makes us to understand that ignorant persons cannot confront the strong man. Say, no man can just stroll into the place like I say, come out, release my goods. You don't talk to the strong man like that. The Bible also makes us to understand that the strong man can operate in the heavenlies. Their location can be anywhere. Daniel knelt down. He prayed. Day one of the prayer, God answered and sent, and sent an angel to bring the reply. Beloved, the Bible makes us understand that there were some spirits in the atmosphere who were strong enough to prevent that angel from bringing the answer to Daniel's prayer. If Daniel had stopped praying day one, the angel bringing his prayer would have gone back to heaven. But as Daniel continued, the prayer of Daniel brought assistance from heaven to assist his angel of blessing. Plenty of us do not assist our angels, so we don't get answers. That strong man was able to confront the angel, bringing blessings from God, and the angel could not pass through for 21 days. Let me explain that to you very well. Somebody is praying now. Oh Lord, I want to marry. Give me a wife. And immediately he prayed. Evans released an angel to bring the wife. As the angel was bringing the wife, and the angel got to the door, the strong man confronts him. I said, Angel, where are you going? I said, I want to give a wife to that man inside. I said, Angel, sorry, are you aware that 1,000 years ago, the whole of this family was handed over to me, and they said I should not allow anybody to marry? The angel said, well, I'm not aware. He said, because of that, you cannot give it to him. So go back. And the fellow is praying has already stopped praying so the angel goes back being confronted by the strong man i pray that this morning any power that is confronting your angel of blessing shall be buried alive this morning in the name of jesus they shall be buried alive they shall be buried alive they shall be buried alive in the name of jesus what are we saying the strong man has capacity to confront your angels of blessing as from these passages that we've read we can also gather that the strong man is a military personality so he has declared himself as a soldier 
What do you call yourself? Remember, demons regard themselves as soldiers. So, what do you call yourself? He is a military person. This is why the Bible says, The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. This is why heavens have no respect for civilian Christians. From these passages we've read, we can gather that the strong man is ready for defensive and offensive warfare. He's ready. From these passages we've read, we can see that the strong man is a thorough destroyer. Mercy is alien to him. The strong man is an alert guard, ready to pounce on intruders like a wild dog guiding a house. The Bible makes us understand something else again. Say the strong man has a palace. That is, it's a form of king. He reigns. He's ruling somewhere. Let me share this testimony with you. I must have shared it with some of you here before. It was at Tafa Balewa Square. That time we were still holding our programs there. We got to that program. I was a woman there. Five women in the family. The youngest was 39. The oldest around 50 something. All of them virgins. Not, never married anybody. No boyfriend at all. Up to that age. We got to this meeting that day. The first prayer point at that meeting was this. You strong man standing at the gate of my promised land fall down and die everybody prayed that prayer the youngest of the women was there immediately she said every strong man standing at the gate of my promised land fall down and die in the name of jesus she herself fell down and she remained on that floor until we said at 5 a.m let us hear the grace the sermon she did not hear all the prayers, you know, all the prayer and anointing that she did not even, she was on the floor. When we were shouting the last 21, hallelujah. And then she opened her eyes. What happened? She said, I had a vision. I saw a revelation. And what did she see from 10 to 5 a.m.? Let me describe it to you. She said, immediately she fell down. She found herself in a palace. Inside that palace was a king. And the king had five wives. All the wives were wearing the same thing, the same kind of attire. She said she looked at the faces of the other four and found that they were the faces of her sisters. Then she looked at her own body and she found that she was wearing the same attire like those four. And then she challenged that king. So sorry, others may be your wife. I divorce you in the name of Jesus. Immediately she said that one. The king fell down from the throne. And she opened her eyes. That was all she saw in seven hours. Within a few months, she was married. Why? Because the strong man was finally dealt with. I wonder how many of you are here this morning. And you are here to wage war against the strong man. And you believe that strong man shall be buried alive. If you are that person, shout it loud. Hallelujah. I remember also the testimony of that sister. They promoted her. Two steps of motion. Three steps. Four steps. Fat salary. But when she collects the money, she won't know what she did with them. She was as poor as a rat, and yet she was getting big money. One day she got angry in her spirit and started praying. As she was praying, something ministered to her. You have a, a cutlass in your kitchen. Hold it in your hand and use it for this prayer. And begin to cut all the hands of poverty that are tying you. And she started praying. I, I cut off every hand of poverty that is against my life. I cut them off. As she was doing, she was cutting. She cut, 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 until she was tired. And slept. In the morning, they called her from the village. That the grandmother, who is a marine priestess, just woke up in the morning. And something had cut her two hands. And she was bleeding. The hands were on the bed. This lady was cutting in Lagos. The effect was felt. Hundreds of miles away, the effect was felt. And do you know, live from that day, the agenda of wealth that the Lord asked for began to come to pass. I know there is somebody here today that those evil hands that have been tying you down shall be cut to pieces in the name of Jesus. They shall be cut to pieces. They shall be cut to pieces. In the name of Jesus. 
from this passage that we have read, we can see that the strong man is a controller over a group of spirits. He's like a king, so he must have a kingdom. He's ruling some spirits. The strong man is the power source and the dominating influence in a particular situation. He's the principal demon, the leading demon in the warfare against your life. Therefore, the key in setting many situations free is to locate, identify, and deal with the strong man. The strong man is the dominant or the edge demon. It's like the prison warden of the devil, keeping his prison for him. He's the one energizing evil activity, a commanding general of an evil army. I've seen people praying before, and immediately they slept. A whole army came after them, and they fought and fought and fought till they break. He's the captain of the evil stronghold, the king in the palace of darkness. The strong man is the senior serpent or the senior scorpion, if you like it, light away. When Jesus said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, and upon every power of the enemy, those powers, the serpent, the scorpion, the senior ones, is the strong man. The strong man is the evil power assigned against a problem. I said, This problem must just continue. Make sure it is not removed. The strong man is the ancestral power in charge of family bondages. It is the principality in the individual heavens of people. A satanic prince over a particular territory. The strong man is the pharaoh amongst your pursuers. The Goliath amongst your oppressors. The arrowhead of the attack you are facing. He is the manager of the satanic warehouse. Caging and hiding people's blessings. The strong man is that well protected enemy that ridicules our prayers. The evil power that rules a locality and decides that some good things will not happen there raise up your right hand to the heavenly and say this louder than anyone here say today i break the power of the strong man in the name of jesus open your mouth and declare break their power Break the power of the strong man. But support her upon the Yabashanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Listen, beloved. When the strong man is still inside, all their wicked spirits will always come back. That's why some people pray they have temporary relief, but the problem comes back because the strong man is still inside. The strong man can have human agent representing them. The strong man will send his children to go and fight before you now encounter him. Most people spend a long time just fighting the children while the strong man is inside. Now, every nation, every town, every village, every family has its own characteristic strong man assigned to it. A strong man also could be attached to somebody's career. All other people will move forward. The person cannot move. Here you see one professor, he has five cars. You have another professor, he has to push the single car he has before this car can start. But they are both professors. An attack. A strong man can be attached to somebody's business life. A strong man can be assigned to somebody's calling. And once the strong man is against your calling, and you don't deal with it, then there is a problem. A strong man can be assigned against somebody's marriage, against somebody's work, against somebody's house against somebody's academics against somebody's finances until that strong man is identified and dealt with and you possess your possession they continue what they've been doing and this is why we're here this morning because this is a very very serious matter that's why the bible also describes them as the mighty and the terrible the mighty the terrible strong forces that scares helpers contesters with helper angels powers that will argue with deliverance ministers this uh, that's what they say the mighty the, the terrible forces that sometimes can scare away small prophets they can scare away native doctors you know when mountain of fire first started at Alassim, when we moved to alasimbo street one man came to church one day he said he wants to see the geo and when they brought him he said that he, uh, the senior native doctor in the area where the headquarters was Ask him to come to Mountain of Fire. I said, what did you say? Say, I said, the native doctor, the 
or guy of them here asked me to come to this place. I said, what happened? He said, he lost his wife and five children in one day. He now rushed to the, to, to the native doctor. He said, Baba, something bad has happened. Now you must avenge it. You must help me to retaliate. The man consulted the Zoraku and shook his head. I said, look, the powers that are fighting you, I cannot confront it. So the only people who can confront it, you know, the mountain of fire in that place. So go there. And he came, recommended by a native dog. Amen. That is the example of a strong man. Formidable in nature. But the good news is this. It is possible to bind the strong man. It is possible to enter into his house and read what is hiding there. It is possible to plunder his goods. But then, the only language the strong man understands is violence. And you will need the assistance of a stronger man who is the Lord Jesus Christ. And you must understand that binding is an effective weapon against a strong man. The Bible tells us that if a thief has taken something from you, in Proverbs 6.31, that you are allowed to take seven times the amount of what that thief has taken. So we are here this morning not just to take what they've taken. We want to take seven times more. I wonder how many people want to recover what they've lost seven times more. If you are the person, shout a loud hallelujah. So the truth is this. You can come upon those powers that are coming upon you. You must declare that the strong man must lose his goods. And that his powers must be broken. When the strong man is still in the case of somebody, those who pray with you are scared away. Former friends become aggressors. You are always at the brink of fearful and life-threatening medical conditions. Your helpers come under attack. There will be horrible dreams. You have these aggressive and terrible spirits, wife and spirit husbands. The person will always be going from one accident to the other. You may be seeing dead relatives seeing ghosts there will be chains of bad luck person may be hearing strange voices multiple surgical operations and suicidal thoughts may fill the heart when the strong man is in charge of a case then when somebody will open his mouth and say I don't dream I just sleep ah you dream but the strong man has taken away your monitor you make a lot of hard effort but little progress when you pray you find that something is resisting your prayers there is plenty of profitless hard work you just feel as if something has gone wrong somewhere. When the strong man is in charge of somebody's case, even when they come to living churches, they are the people there that fake members will go and drag away again and take to the native doctor and take to a fake prophet somewhere. We have many cases like that. People come for prayer. Somebody goes to them. Say, ah, you think it's prayer alone you want to pray here? Follow me to one baba somewhere. They take them there. That when they thoroughly mess them up, they still come back to us again. When the strong man is in charge of somebody's case, that's why you meet people like that who will drag you from fire into smoke. Today, you need a complete surrender to the Lord Jesus Christ. If you want to confront the strong man, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. You need to wage war against that strong man. You need to pray confrontational prayers. You need to pray some prayers that even your enemies will shake in terror a brother hired a flat somewhere every night attack oppression attack oppression he will be hearing gunshot gunshot inside the room so he now went to report to his pastor say pastor this is now accommodation they are, they are shooting they are shooting they are shooting so the pastor just answered him jokingly say, why don't you go and shoot back eh, i should shoot back so, so that night as he went into the room again the shooting and the shaking started the brother jumped up. He said, I don't know who you are that you are shooting here. But I shoot you back. I shoot you back. I shoot you back. <laughs> and she went to, he went on like that for about 30 minutes. And went to bed. What woke him up? Was people running up the stairs. Up the stairs. Big, 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 everywhere running up and down. So he now opened the door. He said, what's the matter? Ah, is the landlord or landlord? Landlord. <laughs> landlord, is, 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 we don't know what's wrong. <laughs> But this, uh, this landlord has been screaming and screaming and screaming and screaming. He said, somebody wants to kill him. So the brother took his Bible. I said, let me go and pray. So he ran there. Immediately he entered. But then the landlord opened the eyes. He said, don't come near. Don't come near. 
he had, he had the one shooting at me. Today, every strong man firing bullets at you shall receive the bullets back sevenfold. In the name of Jesus. Rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. But it is impossible to confront and defeat the strong man when you are still in the camp of the enemy when you are not born again and you have not just surrendered your life to jesus so if you are here this morning you say man of god i want to surrender my life to jesus i want to defeat the strong man wherever you are while all eyes are closed just raise up your right hand god bless you i see that and god bless you those of you raising your right hand take a quick and bold step of faith and run very quickly to the altar here so that I can pray with you. Jesus is waiting for you here. You want to surrender your life to Jesus this morning? Jesus is waiting for you here. Amen. Just of you at the front, I congratulate you. Right there where you are, close your eyes and bow down your heads say what i'm going to say now after me say father in the name of jesus i come before you now i know that you sent jesus to die for my sins lord jesus come into my life take control of my life as from today i say bye bye to the devil I enter into the kingdom of light. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for these children here that you have called unto your own self. I pray, O oh Lord, that your power, your glory, your anointing will fall upon their lives in the name of Jesus. That the decision they've taken today shall be permanent in their life. And no weapon formed against that decision shall prosper. The Lord shall keep you established in his power and his word. And the decision you've taken today, you'll not go back. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. The rest of us, let's bow down our heads. Ask the Lord to forgive you of any sin that will empower the strong man to resist your prayers today. Ask the Lord to forgive you now. It's important that you do this one very seriously so that the Lord will fight for you. Yes, I spent in vanity and pride Caring not my Lord was crucified Knowing not it was for me he died Let's rise up on our feet now. Let me give one or two words of caution. As you start praying this prayer, it is possible that during some prayers, you may hear screams from the camp of your enemies. Don't be afraid. Just keep closing your eyes and continue. Believe God that whatever strong man is assigned to your situation, we will not go home with you today. The first prayer I want you to pray. Please, I beg you. Prayer against strong man is not something you pray and you, you are not concentrating. 
your fullest attention and concentration must be there because you are entering into the palace of a strong man a king so the first prayer i want you to pray with a holy anger boiling anger which i want you to pray with a desperate voice is this you strong man assigned to waste my destiny in the name of jesus yes today is today there must be a change there must be a change there must be a change things cannot continue like this there must be a change the strong man must be destroyed his power must be broken 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 in the name of jesus Continue, 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 continue. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Things are happening. I see someone being pulled out of the waters. The strong man that is after your life lives in the waters and has caged you for many years. But right now, I see you being pulled out of the waters. Thank you, Jesus. I saw one over there. The strong man has planted paralysis in your right leg in order to waste your destiny. Right there where you are now, the plantation of paralysis in the right leg has been uprooted. That's right. Somebody poured fetish material on the floor and you trample upon it. And since that time, you have been having trouble with these legs. Right there where you are, the power of God is pulling out the plantation of the strong man in the legs. Just check those legs now. Check it. You will shout this again loud and clear. Every seed of the strong man Planted in my life. In the name of Jesus. The seed. Must be uprooted. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray look at what is happening over there you are here in this meeting you have this unexplainable swelling of your stomach look look at what is happening that swollen stomach is going down going down going down and it has now become normal thank you Jesus that's right that is healing somebody who has a swelling on the neck too that swelling of the neck has just disappeared too if you are those two persons just find a way quietly to the altar here so that the strong man will not bring the problem back someone is being healed too your head feels like busting it is the agenda of the strong man to make you mad right there where you are the power of god is coming upon that head and the yoke of the strong man upon the head is broken completely Thank you, Jesus. So every strong man that is frustrating my breakthroughs, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare it. The strong man that is frustrating your breakthroughs. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. This is not a day to negotiate. Not a day to negotiate. Masopokoya boshende raboko sente rabaka aha 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 Yes 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 yes. In Jesus name we pray. 
Uh, some people here this morning already uh, is an angel of God by your side. That angel is laying his hands upon your head. This is what is going to happen to you within the next 10 days. The kind of money you have never made in your life will come into your bosom. I congratulate you. I say, sister here, the enemy has tied you down here so that you can't join your husband abroad. The strong man that is working against your marriage has been buried alive now. Say this louder than anyone here. Every strong man blocking my chances. Can you say this with only anger? Your time is up. Time. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Masopora kaya bo shempela bo konti. E Jesus name we pray. Silence now. If you have any problem with your reproductive organ, male or female, lay your hands upon it now. Because it is time for the Lord to cause healing to happen in those areas. Lay your hands upon it now. Immediately you do that. Surgical operations of heaven will start. Materials of the strong man will be removed. That's why something is coming out of somebody's womb. It is a serpent that the enemy has planted there. It's coming out. This is wonderful. That's right. A new organ is coming into position. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody here that the enemy has darkened your sight. Even in sunlight, you can't see clearly. Check your eyes now. The seed of the strong man in the eyes have been taken out. That's right. Check your eyes now. Once you find that those eyes are okay, find their way to the altar very quickly. The power of God is still moving. Bad liquid, a liquid of darkness is being squeezed out of somebody's breast. You can feel it being squeezed out now. This is what the strong man has eaten in your life that has been hindering your breakthrough. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. So every strong man diverting my blessings can you shout with it boiling anger? Damn! In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Deal with the strong man that is diverting your blessings. Oh, yes. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. You must possess your possession. Enough is enough. The enemy has cheated you for too long. In Jesus name we pray. Oh. Yes. Coldness in the head is a stubborn problem the enemy has eaten in your body. It's causing you this terrible cough. Yes, that thing has been taken away from your life now. <laughs> there is someone here. Your problem started when you heard your name being called. You didn't know that the call was the call from the spirit of the grave. And I've been pursuing you since then. But right there where you are now, the hand of the Lord has come upon you. Yeah. You, the spirit of stroke, the strong man behind stroke, the strong man behind cancer, the strong man behind migraine and cataract, the strong man behind breathing difficulties, the strong man behind goiters, arthritis and bone problems. That strong man is being buried now. 
Aha. That's right. Somebody's throat is being blocked by a plantation of darkness. That plantation of darkness has been taken out of your throat now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 25 persons are here. The enemy has buried materials in your body. And strength is going. It's as if the enemy is having the upper hand. The materials the enemy has put into your body is being uprooted now. The one in the head is coming out. The one in the chest is coming out. The one in the feet is coming out. The one in the blood is coming out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, ah. Somebody has been healed from heart murmur. Your heart is making noise. Power of God is touching your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Say this loud and clear. This is not a time to negotiate. This is not a time to joke with the enemy. Say, you strong man. I invade your house and put you under arrest in the name of Jesus. Invade the house, put a strong man under arrest. Aha, 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 aha. Yes, in Jesus' name we pray. Every strong man that is destroying my business, in the name of Jesus, that's right. Deal with the strong man that is destroying your business. In the name of Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Mosete keya bo shende ra bo koson tonda kaya ba. Desinteri bo kosoponde keya bo shente ra bo ra ba. In Jesus' name we pray. There is someone here, polygamous witchcraft has concluded to kill you. Go well, right there where you are. The spirit of death that they have used to attack you is coming out now. Your strength that has been taken away by the enemy is coming back now. Right there where you are. Those things you were not able to do before, begin to do them now. That's right. Yes, there are 42 evil powers sitting upon the financial breakthrough of a man here. But one by one, the 42 powers have been overthrown. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will shout this, these next three prayers. Make sure nobody's voice can overshadow your own. Say, strong man of infirmity. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Masopontendekeyeboshenderabokolaba. Strong man of infirmity. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Something is happening to somebody over there. This power that has been squeezing your heart, as if to choke the breath out of you, is being taken out. 
This is the second one that I want you to pray with boiling anger. Strong man of poverty. In the name of Jesus. Strong man of poverty. Just in Jesus' name we pray. The Lord is touching some children here. Yes, the Lord is healing some children here. Thank you, Jesus. Every strong man fighting my star. Can I hear the sister saying this? Can I have the brother saying it? The children who are here, can I hear you shouting it? Everybody together now say it loud and clear. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's the power of God, that's the power of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Every strong man blocking my opportunities. Your time is up. There. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Something is happening. Something is happening. But Sepala Kakaya Boshanda. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are that sister here, and it's your father that is virgin to you, and this has been troubling your destiny since. Something is happening to you where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of the strong man that has been introduced into your body is broken to pieces immediately. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. 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 You will now say this. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Appear! Kill my strong man! Can you say that loud and clear? In the name of Jesus! Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Listen very, very carefully. There are still seven prayers we need to pray. But the Holy Spirit said, we should pray them just as we are about to go. So that you leave this place with that anointing. So please don't go until those seven prayers have been said. I know you have a wedding to attend, but please put that aside now and pray these seven before you go to put a seal on what you have benefited from here today. If you know that the Lord has dealt with your strong man, 
can you please pick up a song of praises in your own mouth and sing it loud and clear to the king of kings and to the lord of lords what a mighty god we serve glorious in holiness fearful in praises do you wonders in Jesus name we praise Lord I commit this your children unto your holy hands every miracle you have done here today and you are going to do and you have been doing and you shall continue to do we cover them with the blood of Jesus affliction shall not rise again in your life in the name of Jesus your testimony shall be permanent thank you Heavenly Father in Jesus name we pray I see 10 persons the doctors have already written you off and said certain things are not possible for you again but right there where you are the power of God is coming upon you and the yoke of impossibility is broken completely that is the first person that's number two number three number four number five number six number seven number eight number nine that's number ten thank you jesus thank you jesus shout it loud hallelujah these seven prayers, they're not ordinary prayers. This is how we're leaving them to this stage. I want you to enter into this month of perfection with this anoint, the anointing of these seven prayers upon your life. Close your eyes now. As we pray these first prayers, if you are in this meeting today, and in your family, they worship serpents, please just find a way to the altar and be on your knees. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Say, strong man sapin. Strong man scorpion. Dead. In the name of Jesus. Deal with those powers now. Something must happen in your life before you leave this place. We are here for serious business. Strong man serpent, strong man scorpions. Ah! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Huh? You will now shout this. This is number two. I recover my stolen blessings from the warehouse of the strong man. In the name of Jesus. Recover your blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Those of you at the altar here, begin to shake your head vigorously. As you do that, the serpent power that has been programmed to monitor your life shall jump out and go back to the senders. Do it vigorously. That's it. That is it. The serpent must go. Lord, I commit this your children unto your holy hands. Every ancestral serpent power, I break your power now. In the name of Jesus. All right, there where you are. Receive your deliverance. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. 
You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. The hand of God has done wonders in your life this morning. You may go back now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As you pray this next prayer, if you notice that you are the only one in your family that is not getting on, you are the only one. Others seem to be doing well. You get just find a way to this altar and be on your knees as you pray this prayer. Garment of bondage. Catch fire! In the name of Jesus. Command the garment of bondage to catch fire. Garment of bondage must catch fire. Ah, you must receive a breakthrough here today. Masopokoya bo shendera bo konteaba. Riba sopanda kontea. In Jesus name we pray. Lord, I pray for these your children who are coming out. At every power that wants to make you detain, let those powers be buried today in the name of Jesus. Beginning from now, every strong man assigned against your forward movement, I bury them now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. A transaction has taken place in your life today. Thank you, Jesus. This is number four prayer. Oh God, arise and catapult me to a greater tomorrow. Oh God, arise and catapult me to a greater tomorrow. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Catapult me to a greater tomorrow. In the name of Jesus. Catapult me to a greater tomorrow. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. This is number five. And this prize for thousands of people here. Say it the way I'm going to say my own with aggression. Power of delayed promotion. Break! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. That's right. Power of delayed promotion. Break! In Jesus' name we pray. Two more prayers. As you pray, prayer number six now. If you are that person here, and a native doctor shave the air on your body. Shave the one on the head. Shave the one under your armpit. Shave the one on your reproductive organ. Find a way to the altar very quickly. And be, on the, and be there on your knees. And pray with holy anger. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Please make sure that nobody voice over shadows your own in these last two. Anointing to kill the strong man. Fall upon my life now. In the name of Jesus. They are anointed to kill the strong man. Fall upon my life now. Masopoko yabo shende rabo konte raba. Malakate rabo soponde ke yabo shente. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, I'm praying for these your children who are coming to the altar. And those who are already at the altar. Every manipulation of their glory. Let the manipulation be destroyed now. In the name of Jesus. Every evil they have used your ear to do. 
and is now working against you. Let those things be reversed. Let the curses become blessings. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Go back to your seat rejoicing now. One more prayer now before we go. Raise up your voice and sing this song loud and clear before you pray that prayer. You sing it loud and clear. Louder than anyone here. Before you now pray this final prayer. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. He has done great things. He has done great things. Hallelujah. He Hallelujah. He Bless his soul. Sing it one more time loud and clear. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his soul. He has done great things. 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 Hallelujah. He has done great things. Bless his Strong man of my father's heart. You are a liar. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Masaka tonda kaya boshanda. Ribosoponda kaya boshanta. Oh yes, oh yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch your two hands forward now. Like somebody about to receive a present. Father, we are before you now. We have done exactly what you asked us to do here today. As many people as are here now. And their blessings are hidden in the warehouse of the strong man. Beginning from now. Let such people possess their possession. Every power that wants to kill you before your time, that power shall die after the order of Amen. In the name of Jesus, every Amen I had to cut short your life shall die in your place. In the name of Jesus, every evil gathering against you in your career, in your business. In your marriage, in your life, in your progress. Let the evil gathering be scattered. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive 24 hour miracles. Receive 48 hours miracle. Receive 72 hour miracle. In the name of Jesus. I have a message for somebody now. You have an interview to attend. The Lord said I should tell you not to worry. That the interview shall be a walkover for you. And I have a word for somebody. Who has in prayer, oh God, let them mention my case. The Lord said I should tell you that immediately you step your feet on this ground. That problem has been taken away. And your source of tears has become your source of testimony. 
Thank you, Jesus. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Let us share the grace in fellowship.